So uh, today we announced like three things, uh, out of which I think some are quite amazing. So the first thing is, uh, of course, the coverage. So we increased the coverage of our 4G network to over 81.6%, which is uh, more than we have three of 3G coverage, which uh, we did in like two times, uh, two times faster than we did the 3G rollout. Second thing was that uh, we, uh, for the fourth time in a row, we won like uh, the major uh, test uh, certification, which basically proves that we have the best mobile network in, Slo in Slovakia for both 3G and 4G uh, voice services, data services. We were better than our competitors in a high number of uh, parameters. Of course, not, not better everywhere and in every parameter. That's not the, the, the case and this is very difficult to expect. But really, I would say 80-90% of all the parameters we won over our competitors. So the third thing, which again, like as an engineer, I'm extremely uh, proud of and it's, it sounds super interesting, is that we demonstrated on our real live uh, network 900 megabit per second speeds for a single customer of a mobile terminal which uh, basically we did with, in the cooperation with uh, the chipset vendor of terminals, Qualcomm. What we see here is uh, individual carriers. So we have, as I have said, like we had deployed three carriers. Uh, one carrier on 1800 uh, gives 100 megabit per second. Here we are running two times two MIMO and uh, 256 QA modulation. And then we have two carriers here. One is yellow, which is mostly dominant color, but there's also like a blue line, which is the second carrier. Yeah? And this, each one of these second and third carriers is actually contributing almost 400 megabit per second uh, to, to the test. But here we are using 20 megahertz uh, wide of spectrum, plus four times four MIMO, plus 256 QAM enabled, yeah? in order to get to this 400 megabit level. So then combining 100 meg, two times 400 meg, we get to 900 megabit per second here uh, at the very top. And, but really, I think very important to understand, on the real live production network. So using the real IP network of Slovak Telecom, uh, the real base station site, the real packet core, uh, the real access to the internet. So the Slovak Telecom's full existing infrastructure, which is currently used for two and a half million mobile customers at this time as we speak, also for uh, half a million, more than half a million of fixed broadband uh, customers and also 300,000 TV customers. Uh, it's like this is what we used to demonstrate this 900 megabit of throughput. So in the real production conditions. Yeah? And this is, first of all, for me as an engineer, amazing, right? That in 2016, we would be able to demonstrate 900 megabit for one SIM. Uh, a second thing really I'm very proud of as a CTIO that this worked in the real network conditions. I, I would say in order to really, uh, I would say what, what we have currently in SD is uh, the maximum speed is 300 megabit per second, which is enabled here in uh, Bratislava in the Petržalka area, uh, fully, uh, fully covered. Of course, to get to such speeds, you need to have a right terminal and you need to have the network enabled for it. Right? So 900 meg, I would say when it comes in two, three, four years from now, again, you will need to have a right proper terminal and the radio side also enabled, right? including all the infrastructure behind. But this is ahead of us. I think this demonstration today, what we have demonstrated is like really ahead of time, at least two to three years before we see like, let's say a more massive deployment for our customers uh, to be able to experience this. Yeah. But still like technically it's quite amazing that this is available today. I think today, I think first of all, it's not, uh, we have uh, on 4G, we have the average consumption per month, uh, I think uh, one and a half gigabyte. So you it's, uh, I know, I know. So it's not like 200, two or 300 megabytes. It's much higher and of course it's growing over time. Uh, I would say this, first of all, depends on the applications, yes. right? So. If you're using video, which customers are using more and more, then of course this is going to be increasing. But on the other side, I think maybe in the future uh, there might be even other things. Like, you know, we saw here in this booth of Slovak Telecom, there are virtual reality glasses, right? So they will come, they will come things like, you know, holographic uh, displays as well, right? So these things will of course be mobile, right? So in order to connect such a holographic display or uh, virtual reality display, of course you will need more higher bandwidth throughputs and then when this will come all into like uh, play at the same time two to three years from now I think at that time most probably our average consumption will not be like one and a half gigabyte anymore we will like I don't know how much will not be one and a half gigabytes will be much higher I don't know how much know. yeah, yeah. will be five ten I mean if you have if you use virtual reality glasses the whole time which are full for all the time connected to the internet I don't know yeah it's uh, it's definitely going to come from this newer applications, newer devices. 
system. So what what we you know what this technology gives us is really the ability to increase the speed on 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 our whole network when we will need it for the customers who will need it. Right? We have such good spectrum, and here we use today uh, 50 megahertz of this spectrum, uh, primarily on the bands uh, 1800 megahertz and 2.6 gigahertz, which actually enables us to deploy this even countrywide if there would be a need. Right? So this spectrum will secure this high throughput. You know, I don't, I don't know, five years from now, by the time this holographic displays will be, or I don't know, virtual reality, or when you're on your smartphone. So it's not so simple, right? So, uh, of course, otherwise there will be no operators. So uh, it's not only about like going to a shop and buying more hardware and more software. It's really about fine-tuning the whole end-to-end -end, uh, network, right? So starting from, you know, uh, terminals, right? Then the software which runs on terminals. Uh, then the uh, radio access network from Ericsson, right? Software which runs on, on that network. Then, you know, uh, fiber backhaul or microwave backhaul needs to be fine-tuned. Then your IP network needs to be fine-tuned again, right? Then moving to the packet core, moving to the internet gateways, moving to the devices like, you know, AAA authentication systems and all this stuff. All this needs to, this whole, like, uh, how to call it, like ecosystem of technologies, platforms, devices needs to be very well fine-tuned, integrated, connected in order for such a thing to work, yeah? Because, for example, today, what you saw, this 900 megabit per second, uh, you know, when we just deployed the things from uh, from one vendor, it was like, not 900, it was like 700 meg, right? But then, fine-tuning everything, we got to this 900 megabit level.